morning guys <laughs> good morning no oh, for my it's fresh now dangling down so let's see <sighs> what a morning i just finished school on this morning and i'm looking like a hot mess i've not had enough sleep and today is my little princess birthday she's two today so we might be going shopping. We've got some friends I'm um, over on Saturday. Not so many people. Um, my old, my oldest daughter said she wanted to have a play day on Saturday, and my oldest son too. So they've got. Um, she's got three of her friends coming, or four of her friends coming, and the other one is called two of his friends over to the house. So the house is going to be packed with kids on Saturday, and. I'm gonna pick up the cake after swimming on Saturday. So today, basically, I might be going to Costco because the house is empty. We need some shopping, and I'm just gonna go in now. I'm just parked in front of the house, so I'm gonna go in. I have a good cup of tea. The lighting is not very good. It's not the best, so let me move it this way. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in. I have a cup of tea. Oh, I look like a mess. I have to. It's one of those days that you have to. I have to run out of the house without. Not in home, so but it's all good. It's part of motherhood. It's part of what we do. What can we do as mothers? And yeah, I just want, quickly wanted to discuss like a quick topic, and which would roll into you know the shopping, the shopping section too. Like, what do you think about mothers or parents hanging out, standing in front of the school after pick up most especially because normally after drop off everyone is running to work going about their businesses but after pick up parents hanging out and having a chat some people believe it's gossip <laughs> some people believe oh, it's a way of knowing other parents and it's a way of getting to know what's going on in the school i.e. assignments activities uh, you know that is happening in the school because um according to some of my friends because i know that i i wait once in a while i wait for a chat especially when i have not seen that friend for a long time maybe she's not come to do pick up or drop off and i just eventually see him and see her i always want to have a quick chat my lips are dry guys not nice so I always love to have a quick chat and know what you know just have a quick chat about work and ask about the family and eventually we get to talk about assignments basically we don't talk about the school as in gossiping about the school or the parents we just talk about personal stuff like what's been happening why she's not been around then we talk about assignments you know the emails the sent. if she hasn't seen the emails most times i'm you know we're always helpful to each other because I might not have seen an email they've sent, the school has sent to us concerning an activity that we have to be involved in or we have to buy custom for and she would have seen it, she would tell me about it. I don't know of others, I don't know, I mean, for some, it depends on what you are waiting back for. For me, basically, that's why I love to interact with other parents and just to know the parents of kids that my, my, my children you know are friends with because i know that they have some particular friends and they love to have them as friends um and i don't know the parents so i love to know the parents to know who they are actually friends with basically so that's why i always stay back but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comment below if you stay back to chat i know some people say oh it's always gossip no i don't i don't believe in that i don't um I, I know i mean some people might do it but obviously not me that's not what i do and i don't do it regularly okay let me get in now grab a cup of tea and i'll see you guys later Bye. I go away think for a moment <laughs> Is that rain, rain, go away, you're singing? Rain, rain, go away, come again, another day, 
little grace want to play go away yeah. baby chuck to do 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 baby what happened to your baby shark we're going to costco okay are you coming to with mommy to costco hmm? Say hello. Hello. Happy birthday to me. Hello. <laughs> this is a birthday girl. So we're in the car. We're on our way to Costco. And my husband is the one driving today. So I'm just chilling at the back, relaxing with the birthday girl. You want baby shark? Baby shark. Why do all babies like a baby shark? <laughs> what happened to your baby shark? Yeah, so we're going to Costco. Well, because we just finished eating breakfast. We took um, Grace out for breakfast this morning to give her a treat since it's a birthday today. I don't know how to handle this camera. It's so dark the way I've handled it. Okay, I think it's okay here, like this. So yeah. We've, we just finished breakfast now and it was a lovely breakfast. I forgot to vlog that, so. <laughs> Wait, well, alright, so. What happened? She wants a baby shark, so at least that will keep her calm. Yeah, so we're going to pick up some stuff for our birthday on Saturday. Like I said earlier, we're not doing anything big or anything. It's just. Um, few friends in for play day and we're gonna have a cake and just finger food so i'm just going to costco because i know i can get the finger food at costco so yeah i'm going to pick them up so i'm going to bring you with me and come shopping with me today yeah i'm so excited i think the, yeah, yeah actually this is my first come shopping with me and i'm trying to just see what people like on my channel because i realize that my clothing haul and my makeup um review do more do better than the motivational side of it and what other thing and the healthy side of it if yeah because basically the i i started the channel when i was pregnant of grace and i was actually hoping to make the channel family channel but then i wasn't ready to put all the kids on you know on social media but now they are asking for it so i'm going to be doing a little bit of, i want i have a separate um channel that I wanted to dedicate to the family before but I just feel like I should grow this one first before going ahead with another channel because it's just going to be too much for me because I'm a mom I've got other commitment too so for now I'm just going to stick to this one try and do one or two vlogs with them and see if um, if you like it if you like it then yeah I might just turn their own thing into a family channel and do more with the kids show you how we live our life as a family of six and yeah and we're just waiting for him he's gone to him and Ness over there yeah yeah so he's gone into him and Ness to grab um some stuff for himself he loves to shop at him and Ness, especially if you want to get some particular things on the healthy side so yeah we're just waiting in the car for him because it's very cold today and i just thought you know well, i'm not going out <laughs> i'm not going out of this car until we get to costco so so i'll see you when we get to costco we're going on do you want to check do you want to check the fruit section in case you want anything fruit, fruit um, section yeah do you want to check uh okay Okay, you between what do you want? Okay. No, they have it at the corner. At the corner. Oh no, it's still up here. Let me see. This one is a chicken and bacon salad. Oh, 
en galant nous comme ça. What's that? Today is what? Today dreams tonight oh, oh, oh so give me so give me your all i'll take it i'll take it to mars oh i'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in your sweat you're falling into me touch me i swear you would do anything that i want so keep us awake till the dawn Okay, I wanted to show you the beef or pork before going with it. The beef. I want to see. Is it okay? Ah. Okay, let's go there. What is it? So, finger. Not pain. The only thing we didn't buy is crepes. Grace. Huh? So, the only thing we didn't buy is crepes. And that's because I didn't see crepes anywhere. I'm sure it will be somewhere. And I think their crepes is cheaper here. I have to check for it. It's a better look of getting the crates here. Okay, guys, we just finished at um, Costco and everything is in the boots. Let me see if I can show you. We got all our shopping in the boots. So, yeah, I'm going to run you through it when I get home. And my husband is just stopping by since we now to get few things for the house because we realized that some things um, in Costco were really really not really expensive but you could get it cheaper at um, our local stores which is Sainsbury's as the Morrison and the other ones so it's just picking up few things that we didn't pick up at um, that we didn't pick up at um, Costco and but obviously went in hoping to buy some party finger food for Grace's birthday on Saturday but they didn't really have what I want and what we saw there that I thought I could pick up were way way expensive there are things I could I can make myself at home so what we decided to do is just we got some stuff then I'm gonna be putting it together myself at home on Saturday and I guess I'm just gonna pick up chicken from one of the stores to make for the kids and they'll have their sandwiches and they of course we've got some drinks for them crepes so yeah, i'm gonna pick up crepes elsewhere i just didn't like the collection of crepes they have in there so yeah let me know if you shop at costco how you like to shop at, at costco because the previous the other time i came to costco i came with my friend and it was during christmas time i got a lot of things but even as a dad we're still conscious of the prices of what they were selling there so i just believe some some of their things are way way expensive than the normal stores 
around us so i do the shopping but i love to do it online but he keeps track of you know the prices of things so when you go shopping with him it's kind of he knows what the price of everything is i know it's kind of strange i'm supposed to know all that but it's quite it's quite good with um budgeting and looking at the prices and saying no this one is not worth buying this one is worth buying so for that reason i love to shop with him and today i didn't come out with any lists i was thinking of making a list but unfortunately i didn't come out with any list and i just remembered something else too i promised my daughter i was going to go to the beast meet to get her stuff for her slime i just remembered now and i've not been there yes so I'm gonna have to go to the basement after picking them up school. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do that because she's got friends coming over on Saturday and she won't be able to make slime with them. Another way around it is I'll see if I can order it online now and if they can deliver it tomorrow, next day delivery or on Saturday. So fingers crossed they deliver it early Saturday so that they can use it in the afternoon or evening. So yeah. So, and Grace is still here, she's awake now, she slept throughout the shopping, no not throughout, she actually woke up our, along the line, but not, you know, we, we were almost done with our shopping when she woke up. Grace, say hello. Yeah. No, remove your tongue, no sucking. Say hello. Yeah. Wave to the camera. Look at mommy. Look at the camera. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so that's the birthday girl there, so yeah. Like I said, I, I actually got most of the things I need for Saturday because, like I said, we're not doing anything big. It's just in-house, so it's, I don't really need so much. And I'll be I'll be going online, actually, to shop, to buy some other stuff for the house. Because my husband right now, I'm sure he just want to go home. It's like, he doesn't like shopping, like going from A to B. If he has to do it, he want to do it by himself, and he's always very quick. I'm not as quick as he is when doing shopping, so I hope you've enjoyed coming shopping with me today.